Hey, what's going on? It's that weekend warrior. I recently took a trip to Richmond, Virginia to visit some family, and while there, I did a little toy and game hunting at one of my favorite spots in the Midlothian area called Second and Charles. Second and Charles is sort of a nerd heaven, in my opinion. Um, they carry darn near everything. They have toys, they have video games, they have comic books, they have clothing, books, records, music equipment. I mean, it just goes on and on. And I've been coming to this location for a number of years now, and every time that I have gone shopping here, I have found something unique that I had to add to my collection. Uh, but to get started, when I walked in, I decided let's just go straight to the video games and see what they got. Now, I greatly appreciate the way Second and Charles does their video game organization. It's not overwhelming. I've been in a numerous stores and it feels like they just throw it out there and it's like, here's what we got. So you don't really know what you're having to dig through. And part of the fun is the digging, but also... For me, I like have things organized. It's easier for me to peruse. So they definitely have them labeled by console. So all of your Wii games together, PlayStation, Xbox, so on. Uh, and then they have a whole section labeled classic, which is all their retro games. And like many stores do, they put their more rare and high dollar items in glass cases. And they definitely had some bangers. Um, one of the first ones that jumped out to me was Ogre Battle. They also had Act Razor. Castlevania Curse of Darkness, which I still need to get that game, uh, Turtles in Time, and more. One game in particular that I was going back and forth in my head on, do I buy it, do I not buy it, do I buy it, do I not buy it, was um, Space Ace for the Sega CD. I played this game a bunch in the arcade, and like Dragon's Lair, I thought they were amazing. I thought they were beautiful games. Extremely difficult and frustrating, but super cool. Um, it's Don Bluth, and of course, because of Don Bluth, I wanted to add this to my collection. However, I didn't pull the trigger. I didn't do it at this time, because I'm still on the fence whether or not I'm going to keep Sega CD in my collection as something that I want to still either keep building or maybe get rid of. But then as I was turning my head to leave the, the glass cases, I look up and in another section, they had Darkwing Duck from the Nintendo Loose. Now, this is a game in particular that I have been wanting to add to my collection for some time. It's on the higher price range uh, for a loose cart, but it's, it's a fantastic game. Unfortunately, I passed on this one as well because the cart's condition. I'm very particular with my video games as far as like their their aging like the yellowing or if it's ripped or sharpie or anything like that and this had a little bit of all of that and so i just couldn't justify the price for the wear now my game hunting adventure at second and charles wasn't a complete loss i did find three games that day that i added to the collection first one i picked up is the jungle book for the sega genesis I rented this a number of times as a kid and did enjoy playing it, but mainly I got it because it's one of my wife's favorite movies. The next one that I picked up is another title for the Sega Genesis, and it's Ah, Real Monsters. The last game that I picked up, and it is yet another title that I had no idea existed, is We're Back, A Dinosaur Story. I haven't seen this movie in a long time, but it was one of my absolute favorites as a kid. And I was almost certain it was a Don Bluth film, but it, it isn't. I honestly don't know if this is a good game or not. I just thought, what the heck? I love the movie. How bad can the game be? You chose poorly. All in all, they have an awesome selection of games, consoles, and accessories. And I saw many things that I would have liked to have added to my collection but there were still the toys to go through. Since the last time I was at Second and Charles, they have absolutely upped their toy game. Not only is it better displayed and better organized, but the selection is much larger. They have an entire rack dedicated to Masters of the Universe. 
And to the side of that is a bunch of random figures, everything from like Aliens vs. Predator, Power Rangers, and Captain Planet. Oh, Planet! The power is yours! My wife is a big Captain Planet fan, and we've been trying to find the just the main core figures for a while now. For some reason, finding anything Captain Planet, whether it's on card or loose, is escaping us in Central Florida. You just can't find it. So when I saw this rack filled with a bunch of loose Captain Planet figures, I was throwing everything into my cart. To which my wife had to pull me back and remind me that we were flying. Not everything would fit into the suitcase. And so she picked a figure out of the lot that we wanted to add to the collection. So as I continued looking through the toys and went further down the aisle, I came upon their Ninja Turtle section. And again, great stuff. They had vintage, they had retro, they had NECA, Super 7 Ultimates. And some of the figures they had that are really weird, but I think that's why I love them, are the Mutations. In the Mutations line, there's only a couple figures that I really would like to have. And that is the Hamato Yoshi Splinter Mutation and Shredder. As I turned around, again, like the video games, there's glass cases with the rare and high dollar. And sitting on top of one of those cases was something I had not seen in a while. The Castle of Lions from Voltron. I go through phases in my toy collecting where I consider buying these large play sets, even though I don't really have the space for it. But one day, I do hope to add the Castle of Lions from Voltron to my collection. As I continued my journey through their toy section, I saw many cool things. Kenner Star Wars, Mask, Vintage Transformers, and more. They had a great selection, and the prices were really good too. I enjoyed going through all of the figurines, and I think I picked up and put down multiple because I just couldn't make up my mind. Ultimately, my wife kept reminding me that we were traveling and asked the question, is that something that I needed now, or could I get it back home? Bugs me how she's right. And the truth shall set you free! So after careful consideration, the only figure I picked up was Wheeler from Captain Planet. What I didn't notice until we got back to my sister's house is that the ring he came with is heart. Second to Charles, Wheeler is fire, not heart. Email me, we can talk. Aside from the toys and the games, Second and Charles has a little bit of everything for everyone. As you might know, I'm a huge record collector, so I love going through all their vinyl selection. They also have a lot of movies, and then just the music instruments are an added bonus. I'm always holding out that there's gonna be some random rare piece of vintage guitar gear there that I can pick up for a great price. But all in all, it is an experience and it's a lot of fun going there. And everywhere you look, the way they have it laid out, there's something that's just gonna jump out at you to be like, wow, I didn't know that existed. Oh, that's super cool. Like this one thing that my wife picked up. That's awesome. <laughs> the Burninator. The cheat is granted. So when you go to Second and Charles, make sure you have enough time because there is a lot to see. And next thing you know, you've been there for hours. And let me tell you, being in a place where I go toy and game and record hunting is one of my family's favorite things to do. And that concludes my trip to Second and Charles in Midlothian, Virginia. I thoroughly enjoy going to this store. I have a great time with my family and we always find something every time that we go. As far as I know, it is a store that's nationwide. So if you've not been to one, I highly recommend it. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for when I drop new content. And if you're on any social platforms, Check my description and you can find links there where I drop more rad content. And until next time, be good.